We are the Borg. Yeah, we're continuing on. Um, right now we're kind of approaching our fleet power here. However, um, in general, we're actually doing quite well in this campaign. Sadly, uh, I would not be surprised if I'm going to have to cut this campaign short in the very near future due to the release schedule of Synthetic Dawn. So I'll have to take a look at that. In the meantime, I need to... Did I add the new maturation chambers? No, I did not. Uh, I do need to add new maturation chambers to these if I can. Uh, where is it? Uh, I thought I had maturation chambers, or is that this one that I'm building right now? The hydroponics. Uh, you know, complex. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All this stuff. Uh, maturation chamber. Needs a station hub too. Oh, I see. Okay. So I basically can only do it on the, on this one right now and maybe beta. Uh, still, though, uh, we got a bunch of stuff that we can do. Orbital Dilithium Refinery. Uh, maybe should do it in this one instead and do the other stuff in there. Oh, yeah, we're engaging the Voth, uh, a species that on paper should be far superior to us. Um, so there is that at least. What kind of space stations do we have? Yeah, pretty basic stuff. But yeah, on paper the Voth should be pretty much outclassing us in almost every single uh, every single environment. Not that it really matters at the moment. So we're still uh, in the process of conquering the worlds. So what is our war goal here? Oh yeah, it was these these top ones, right? These ones. So it basically means that we need to. Uh, assimilate these worlds and then take it from there. Shouldn't be too difficult. We'll just, uh, New Earth. Excuse me? New Earth? Okay. Apparently, ooh, did my queen die? Okay. Um, apparently I've got a new, new queen. That is annoying. Could have sworn that that I wouldn't get. Yeah, apparently my queen has died at the age of 111. Yeah, well, um, uh, let's take a look here. What can I do resource-wise? Uh, let's build another unit complex, and specifically for this sector, so we can build another unit complex quite easily. Uh, Mega structure. And then a secondary unit complex that we can build around this star. Uh, so we'll see how, how, how that goes. Still though, another unit... Um, maybe I shouldn't build it specifically there? Can I, can I build it somewhere else in the system? Like, can I build a mega structure? No. So I am going to build them a unit complex. Cost 10,000 minerals. Uh, a ton of other stuff, and basically it gives us the ability to build a initial, uh, an additional unit complex. So that's what we're basically doing right now. Um, in addition to obviously uh, conquering the Voth, because they are completely and utterly <clears throat> insignificant to us uh, on any sort of scale. Uh, they have not sent out any fleets against us yet, which I find surprising. I'm still gonna increase the sector though, so I'm not really all that worried. Besides our Borg drones, we'll be able to conquer them relatively quickly. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. So that's taken care of. Uh, we'll assimilate those worlds pretty rapidly here. We still haven't seen their fleet. Uh, they are inferior to us in every single way. Uh, these guys, New Earth is trying to uh, rebel a little bit. Actually, do what kind of... Uh, the Voth assimilation. Good. Uh, unit complex... New Earth, we'll need to do something about that. 42, Newt Newt, uh, 666. This one needs to be renamed to Planet HK. If I can spell. 47. Good. Okay, and we're on orbit here as well. Have we completely assimilated the population here? Yes, we have. That's actually really quick. Uh, I'm very happy with that. So we're going to land our armies here. And New Earth is going to be recalled Planets 00010. Okay. <clears throat> we also need to rename the, uh, the sectors just for thematic reasons, really. 
So this is going to be grid 0, 2. Uh, this will be grid 0, 3. Do I have any other sectors? I think I do have one more. Yeah. And this is going to be grid 0, 4. And this does need another leader, actually. So uh, a nice construction base leader on this bad boy. Uh, this planet does not have a star base. We need to do that. So star base is being built again so we can get more fleet power out of everything. Uh, these all have star bases that need to be upgraded. Okay, this is all taken care of. Even a complex delta does not have a star base. Frustrating, but nothing that we cannot uh, actively deal with anyway. <clears throat> okay, this is being taken care of. Time to move on towards the next planets. Niera 4. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look here at your suggestions online when it comes to the naming scheme of our planets. A lot of people were like, hey man, you should call your planet Gallifrey. And I'm just like, that doesn't totally not fit within the uh, the theme, so to speak. So yeah, uh, like I'm, I'm really, really happy to uh, name planets based on your suggestions. However, uh, first of all, please watch the whole series because... Uh, a lot of the names that I'm seeing in series are basically the ones that I've already seen. So there's that. Uh, Dilithium Crystallization Chamber. Warp Speed plus 5. Let's go Mobile Transwarp Aperture. Very nice. Uh, Mon Planet 2319 is going to be a future one as well. A little bit of fleet combat. Okay, that's another planet added to the mix. It's a lot of Voth as well. Planet 2319. Oh, there we go. Let's get you boys into orbit and attack the next planet. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit... Um, can be said it'll be a little bit boring sometimes, but uh, once we get to the Alpha Quadrant, we should be finding significantly more uh, enemies to shoot, so to speak. Uh, we need an empty one here, so let's put a Dilithium Refinery on this one. Uh, we won't be able to do much more until we are uh, Tier 2 Storage Bay. Mm. Oh, that's our attack fleets. Uh, but yeah, the uh, <clears throat> additional hydroponics bays that we're building are okay, I guess. Like, whatever. They're not the best thing since, like, since uh, sliced cheese or sliced bread, whatever you want to call it. Where is that expression even coming from? The best, ex the best thing since, you know, sliced whatever the hell. Uh, it's an interesting one, but nothing that really comes to uh, my my mind, so to speak. Um, can I not build... Uh, let's replace this, actually. Can I build a maturation chamber yet? Why can I not build a maturation chamber? Um, it doesn't say. Interesting. Oh, well. Uh, let's move the fleet on. Let's move to this system. Start bombing over here. What do we got? <clears throat> Yeah, just a bunch of Voth being pissed off. You know, I would totally understand, you know. But this is, is considered as an opportunity to become better. Uh, let's take a look at here. Mastery of Nature is not nearly as good as it used to be. Technical Ascendancy, nice. A unity Output from Mind Over Matter is nice. Uh, yeah. Clear Blocker cost, 50%. Nice. Uh, Interstellar Dominion border range plus 15% is actually kind of nice in order to get more stuff. A minesweeper. Uh, powerful short range, star base build costs. Let's go for these ones. Is this is this where your fleets are? Oh boy. Okay, so planets. Um one seven zero one. Star Trek reference, you know, you gotta, gotta, every once in a while you gotta get a Star Trek reference in there. It's, it's kind of part of the dealio. Hey, what's this? Uh, we can upgrade this building. 
which is a station hub, which means that we'll be able to upgrade the rest of the hub as well. Uh, the population is growing quite nicely, actually, so particularly rapidly with the improved uh, maturation chambers. Did we lose a ship here? Oh, good lord. One of our spheres is in a bit of a pickle. It's a good thing that we can very relatively easy replace, though, so we'll just do that right now. But these boys and girls have basically been on the road for a little while. Yeah, we, did we just lose a... Did we just lose a sphere? No, we did not. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> let's get these bow, bow, boys and girls rolling. And we'll land those armies. Why are you attacking mining stations? Come on, you silly geese. What is that mining station going to do to you? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so in the meantime, our construction ships will be in position to do a little bit more in terms of starting to mine stuff. Like this one, for instance, is now within our territory. What is this? Talaxian commonality. In that just uh, in, in that just uh, a bucket of happiness right there. Uh, and we also have one Fendomar states. Uh, we have a new alien species that we detected. The Beth aliens. Uh, I thought I was doing all this. The Lyrian Dysporia. Interesting. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, I thought I was getting all of these already. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so fleet order has been cancelled on that one. You know, complex is building quite nicely. <coughs> <coughs> and we're expanding the sector as well. And yeah, so this sector, which one is this? It's grid zero four. Um, I am going to remove uh, this sector. Yeah, good. Proton cannons or anti-photon beams. Hmm. Opening network transfer of communication, antimatter based space to space weapon. Anti photons or proton cannons. Anything involving beams is good to me. We have found another species. Okay, so we're removing the grid. So I know that was a bit of a bit of a waste of resources, but um, this one over here, we're gonna just add everything into this sector because then we have an additional unit complex that is controlling a very large amount of space uh, which is kind of the short-term goal here and also allows us to do things a little bit easier so this is going to be uh, grid zero four uh, this planet does not have a star base on it Okay, uh, next stage, antimatter weapons. That's good. Uh, luxurious queen chamber. Uh, resettlement costs. Antimatter gun. Transwarp antimatter gun. Um, ECM is cheapest. So let's go with that for now. Uh, these guys are on the ground. Uh, planets. Hmm. Oh yeah, 144p. We already have 1080p. Okay, so there's this planet under control. And then it's time to go to the Voth capital system. Uh, actually, we're going to send our fleet home at the moment just to heal a little bit. Uh, let's give him a little bit of a respite. You know, a little bit of a breather sometime. You know, it's, it's, assimilation is important, sure, but... Uh, sometimes you want to do a little bit more. Is this all... What is this? Punk Poktian. Alright. Planet 37. These are Gagassi. Uh, these are Isildians. But yeah, the Voth is pretty much... We will not, will not rest until every spiritual falsehood is eradicated from the galaxy. Well then. It's, uh, I guess that's a thing. Uh, how we're doing here? You're building the new unit complex in... Uh, where are you? 
Uh, okay, you are over here, so that's in this system. So we've got a unit complex over here. This is going to be the second unit complex that is going to take full control of that area, which is great. Uh, we have a bunch of mining that we can start doing in some of these systems. So that's good. Uh, pretty much almost all of our territory is now connected to one another. So that's nice. Uh, you're auto exploring. Actually, uh, now that we know where the Devor are, we will simulate them later. And we're going to go on some wild goose chases and get all these research projects done. We got a couple of outposts down south. Thankfully, the expansion of the Kazon and the Krenum allows us to slowly but steadily move further south. As in south in the galaxy. Obviously, the galaxy does not really have a particular, um, you know, uh, thing in terms of um, orientation. You know, there's no fucking magnetic north in space, all right? Let's put it that way. Good lord, we are over our fleet cap. We need to do something about that. So let's get some more star bases rolling. We're getting a decent amount of minerals a month, so that is good. Well, our fleet academy is nice. Uh, these are all maxed out. We could build some more diamonds if we wanted to. Oh, there's their fleet. Ooh, it's pretty big. Um, I'm not going to go in just yet. Uh, I want to build another diamond, maybe. Just to support our fleet a little bit. Um, maximum warp speed increased. Always nice. Uh, we need, do need to take a look at some of our planets. Because uh, a lot of these do not have the right designs. Same thing with our vessels, actually. Um, let's take a look at our patrol frigates. Uh, neuro armor. What's this? Neuro... Uh, living armor. Armor plus five. Uh, okay. It does not automatically... Yeah, here we go. So, armor automatically upgrades, but I also need to take a look at our sphere designs. Okay, so this is all maxed out. Uh, Bork Adaptive Plexus, Tractor Beam, Hull Regeneration. Yeah, Nanite Projector increases hull, hull genera uh, regeneration. Uh, so, that's actually really nice. That's Tractor Beams. Uh, armor Penetration minus 30% is actually really nice as well. Uh, we will use that for the moment. And uh, let's send our ships back to Starbase just to upgrade a little bit. Get a little bit more um, more out of it, so to speak. Uh, the Zal, in the meantime, are a vassal underneath the Talaxian commonality. If we go to war with you guys, they are a subject. So we need to go to war with Talax. And they are... But buddies with the Kazon and the uh, Krenim. Annoying. Annoying to say the least. Thankfully, we can build a bunch of starbase upgrades at the moment. Ah, the fleet has been upgraded. Good. Ah, that's a, that's a cool sound. Cool. So, our fleets will now passively regenerate themselves. That's good. Uh, so we got a little bit more out of that. What did we get here? Is that an additional ship? Offensive unit. Uh, that is... Oh, it's an assault sphere, of course. And I think I was building another diamond combat ship. Yeah. So uh, That should be another 4K added to the fleet, and then the Voth will be completely and utterly outmatched anyway. So uh, The transport fleet is on standby. And basically, as soon as all of this is done, we can uh, take a look at the Vor Imperium as well as the Vodwar. Uh, they're basically bashing their heads against. Uh, Martial Empire and their slaving despots, and then these guys, the Devor, uh, they are author... Uh, they're materialists, basically. They don't like stuff very much. Okay, so... Uh, Microfusion Reactor, that's installed. Uh, what other options do we have? Long range behavior. The ship will stay at a maximum range of 90 units. 
Okay, this is a bunch of good shit. Um, Transform Conduit 2. This is the battleship version. Uh, it's Omni stuff, battle cruiser stuff. Particle foam, alloy, living armor. Yeah. Like, overall, this is by far the, the better variant. So we're just waiting for uh, some additional ships to join up, and then we can take on the Voth directly. Uh, what do we get? ECM Jammer. Cool. Aceton Assimilator. These devices can leach energy from nearby vessels, l leaving them moribund and derelict. Interesting. Multi-regenerative force fields. Mm -hmm. Let's go for some force fields, then. Ship hull points increases by 35,000 on the Man of War. On the cruiser, it's a 9,000 and on monthly hull armor regeneration of 1%. Damn, son. That is some good stuff. I, I need me I need to get me some of this. Cool. Uh, okay, it looks like stuff is coming together from Unicomplex. Okay, this is all maxed out. That's good. Still slightly over our fleet cap. Uh, we should improve our starbase upgrades. So, for instance, this planet needs to have more starbase. Resettlement cost reduced. Um, Biolab, absolutely. We got some new aliens. Maybe finally some Vulcans. Or Romulans or something like that. Um, this is being updated. Uh, this is being updated. Buna Brunali, interesting. Never heard of them. Um, this one is being done. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty. The, the Legend 27, the, the planet that matters only. Uh, Unicomplex Hub 2. So that is our secondary hub. Uh, is it done already? Oh, it is. Uh, it doesn't show up in our l habitats list for some reason. That is kind of worrying. Oh, of course, because it's in a sector. Uh, yeah, that makes kind of sense. So this is now being controlled by a governor uh, in his own sector. and He can do whatever the hell he wants with that sector, of course. Uh, but it just means that this unit complex we do not have direct control over. So uh, a general note on that one. Uh, they'll be most likely be expanding. Uh, we can expand them right, and we can but expand them if we wanted to. But we'll leave that for the moment. Having an additional unit complex that is governed governed by the AI should be an interesting experience. Anyway, it's time for the Voth to um, uh, to start having problems with the Borg, so to speak. Ah, okay, you're all coming down down there. What's down here? Brunali, the Lydian Dysporia are down there. Sorry about this. I'm quickly have to PM Daniel Moragord about something. Um... Oh, well, that was a pretty big, big fleet fight here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you know, the, we'll probably lose a couple of ships out of this. Uh, even though the Voth are losing ships very, very rapidly here. Not bad at all. I'm sure I lost a couple of the smaller transports, but the Voth are basically down to one cruiser and one Corvette. All right. Man, can you imagine you're just chilling all of a sudden? These four diamonds and spears fly straight at you. Man, I would, I, would, I would shit myself. We lost two spheres. Wow. That was a relatively expensive battle. But it does mean that the Voth are no longer a problem. We will take their, uh, their capital world. A lot of good stuff, but yeah. Uh, we finding out some more... Some more Xenos. 
The Ferengi. Wow. I bring greetings from the Grand Nagus, the undisputed ruler of the Ferengi Alliance. That's cool, I guess. What else did we discover? So the Ferengi are all the way down here. They are ex that is some really weird expansion patterns. Very interesting. I'm really curious what was what's going to happen. Uh, gamma something. Because I know that... Where is the expanse? It should be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, somewhere. The expanse. The briar patch is down here. Okay. The Paulson Nebula. His name was Robert Paulson. Uh, Arachnids. The Typhon Expanse. Orion. I have no idea where the expanse uh, where the expanse is. Oh, the Delphic Expanse. That means that Earth is here somewhere. Which means that the f f uh, the Ferengi are a surprisingly powerful force within uh, the Alpha Quadrant, which I find surprising. We'll probably get a little bit of a better look on what's going on in the Alpha Quadrant. There's the Romulan Star Empire. Okay. Let's take a look. How big are they? Okay. Interesting. So, the Romulan Star Empire are surprisingly large. What is this? The Gar Guardian Republic. But they are basically on our way into, into that space. So, anyway... Uh, the offensive assets can move on. Move on towards the next planet, the Voth are. Uh, we've already gotten sufficient Voth. They are now pathetic to us. And we will crush them pretty much under any sort of scenario. Uh, we're going to need to build some additional spheres at the unit complex. Because we did lose two uh, just now. Oh, we did lose a leader. That is frustrating. So, let's go and send, send you out the boldly go where no one has gone before. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Did you, you guys got another planet? Oh, it's good for you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, the Voth have been expanding pretty rapidly, actually. Uh, so, Voth Prime. I'm gonna call you Planets... 911 9-11 after the Porsche 911 uh, one of the best cars from the 1980s that also had a ridiculous amount of turbo lag basically you would uh, kick in your, your gas and all of a sudden it's like nothing's happening what's up and then 20 seconds later everything goes completely crazy so yeah uh, oh cool look at all this stuff that I just assimilated it's going to be a lot of resources in these sectors. I'm really looking forward towards the uh, updates that are coming up soon. Minesweeper. Sublight speed. Yeah, I'm really... I, 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 just want, I want to get access to cubes, man. Just give me cubes. That's all I want. Like, I know they're going to be expensive. Like, 10,000 each, maybe. Uh, but still, like, I want something with that amount of fleet power. Alright, so, the Romulans and the Ferengi, so this is the Alpha Quadrant, right? This section, this is the Beta Quadrant, Delta Quadrant, Gamma Quadrant, alright, cool. Mm-hmm, what's this? Okay, okay what have we got in here? Just a couple of Voth minor ships, nothing that the fleet cannot take care of. Yeah, this is already bombed into the ground. It's time to move on. Time to move on the offensive assets to the next... Oh, there's two planets in here. What a, what a delightful surprise. Yeah, but they have got a strategic resource called Prosperity. It's just fascinating. I've never seen that before. Okay, and that uh, is another planet. Cool. Man, I did lose a leader. Uh, I'll put this one on that ship. And then get a... Fra oh, this one has got Spark of Genius, actually. So, ba -ba -ba -bum, let's go to Science and replace you back to Spark of Genius. And you, sir, can be whatever. 
Uh, in one point, in one point eight, it gives a fifteen percent base bonus. So that's a pretty big deal, obviously. Cool. Have we assimilated you guys yet? No, I'm just all leaving right now. All right, that's fine by me. Cool. And just adding a couple more spheres. Then we've managed to uh, uh, balance out our stuff, which is good. <clears throat> Balancing out your stuff is always a good thing. Grid zero two, really? The tiny sector over there is zero two. All right. Um, you are allowed to redevelop. And you are also allowed to do military stations, but just a general setup would be nice on this one. Anyway, we're going to wrap up this episode. Uh, it's, been a, it's been an interesting one. We've made first contact with the Romulans and the Ferengi. Uh, we now know a lot more about our situation, but we don't know what's going on in the Alpha Quadrant in general. We don't know what the Klingons are up to. We don't know what the Federation are up to. Uh, we definitely don't know what's going on with the Dominion. So. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourselves. And as always, eat shutter. <laughs>